I don't know if anybody can see me yet. Oh, we're starting. Oh my God, it's working. <laughs> What's going on, world champions? I don't know if anybody can see me yet. There we go, we're working. Let me turn that off. We're starting. 33 years ago, today, February 11th, 1990, the undefeated Mike Tyson was knocked out by James Buster Douglas. It's a good fight, it's on YouTube. Yep. For the occasion, Buster Douglas made some custom merch, only my best, James Douglas, which would go on to be many years later. The marketing for another historic, maybe the most historic knockout of all time. We'll get to that all in a little bit. <laughs> Hello, world champions. Let me uh, introduce here for a minute my boy Johnny Mojack. Morning, folks. <laughs> I'm Johnny Mojack. Johnny Mojack. We'll talk more about who you are, where you came from, where I've been, all that in a little bit. But before we get to any of that, I need some help with this myself. Where are we? What the fuck is going on? Wow. Those are two loaded questions right there, buddy. Where are we? We are in the middle of one big cluster fuck. <laughs> And I mean, come on, think about it. Just look around. Um, I mean, we're all scraping to get by. I don't care if you're rich or poor or you're middle class. We're all scraping to get by. Joe Biden's got us in a hole that Trump had us on a high. How did we get here? How did we get here? Before, before that, uh, and for, for you guys, this is kind of a practice stream for us. That's why we didn't really announce it or anything. It's been two years. This has all changed. Uh, I don't even know if you can see the chat or any of that. We're just kind of saying hi and testing out our setup that we've set up here on the mezzanine. More on that later, too. I'm going back to you for a second here, Johnny. So Yeah. <clears throat> it's a shit show. Quite. Uh, you have been watching what's going on more than I have. Um, let me split us here. I, I watch every day. I keep up with everything and not just, I mean, mainstream media sucks, plain and simple. It just sucks, people. I mean, go get your news elsewhere. Fox, Newsmax, read the newspaper. There's newspapers out there. I mean, you can get them online and stuff. You will get better reporting from them than you ever will from the actors on the evening news. I kinda, I'm curious to, to talk more about what your preferred uh, sources for media are, where, where you get your news from and all that. Uh, but you had actually watched the debate. Oh yeah. I believe, uh, <laughs> I did not. You do your homework, I do not. That's uh, the difference here, folks. <laughs> let's talk about that for a second. What's going on in terms of Republican presidential nominee? Are you considering a trump alternative johnny mojack i well we talked about this this morning and i we've talked about this more than once first election trump supporter second election huge trump supporter <laughs> i did a trump training little community I oh did we got to talk about that too. we'll yeah. get to that later we'll get on to that this year johnny um, mojack is not i mean i did drag him out of the boondocks <laughs> but he's not just some guy out of the boondocks no, folks, um, no college education, though, so you will get... Quit bragging. <laughs> I'm allowed to brag about that. I don't know student debt. But then again, there's another subject for another day. But this year, um, I have been up and down, up and down, and I will support Donald Trump 100%. If he happens to not be the nominee, I will support our party. And that's all I've got to say about you that. You would stay with Republicans, no Trump? I would stay with the Republicans if there was no Trump. I would have to. I'm not going to jump the fence, and I'm not going. Um, the independents are, if the independents come in and we have an independent running, that's going to steal a lot of votes from both sides. But I think it's going to take more from the Trump side than it would be from the Democrat side, only because there's more Democratic money buying the elections again, than, uh, just the same as there was the last the, election. The chat says Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy, I, I liked him at the beginning. I did like him at the beginning, folks. Um, he was, he come out and he's, he's like a Trump. He's an entrepreneur, he's a self-made man. I liked him at the beginning. 
towards the end, he got to be a smart ass little brat. <laughs> I mean, come on, if you're going to be up there with those those heavyweights, you know, DeSantis, Pence. Now, Pence, he's another story there. But you got some big swingers up there, and he comes out and starts being a smart ass little kid towards the end of the debate. He, he kept went trying down. to um, kept trying to ask me about my extended warranty. Did he? Well, he called me three days about that. <laughs> And I'm sorry to tell you there, buddy, but that truck's in the junkyard. <laughs> not, not, Ra not Ramaswamy? Not Ramaswamy, no. All right. Um, now, I did. I, I had Wait, before we get to who you, who can you rule out? Let's rule them out. Okay, we're going to rule out. We're going to start with, I've got to start with Hutchinson. Hutchinson just needs to go back, being a governor. And just sit in that chair till he's done being in that chair. He doesn't. He has no business being on that stage at all. Um, Christy, I, I don't know what to say about Christy, but I don't see Christy going far at all. Christy's just Christy. I mean, it's not going to change. He's not going to support Trump. Trump's not going to support him. So I don't see Christy coming in anywhere. Um, Pence. Pence is another one. I think Ooh. Pence is out. I think Pence is out. Ooh. Pence. Pence is tainted. Pence is tainted. What does the chat think about Mike? Michael Pence. Yeah. There, we got Trump or bust. I love it. I love it. Tucker. Tucker. Hey. We're kind of experimenting with the setup. Let me say again, if you missed the beginning, so obviously we did not uh, really promote this stream or anything. Uh, I'm the champion of live experimentation and interacting with you guys. It's been a while. We'll get to all that, too. But uh, we've got kind of a nicer setup than before. We're taking it somewhat seriously. This gentleman you're looking at over here across from me, Johnny Mojack, again, welcome. Thank you. He's Thank you for having me. He's my stats guy. Um, I'm the man on the numbers. I'm going to do everything I can to make you flip your shit on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, folks. Don't get me started. The chat Don't says Pence started. is trash. Okay, see, I'm telling you, Pence is, Pence is tainted. Like Judas Pence. Pence is tainted, okay? Pence, there used to be a way, yeah. as I was just talking, there was a way I had the chat up on the actual live stream. This software has all changed. So well, we can, we're can we watching it over here okay. with our old yeah. man eyes, Yeah, I can uh, and we'll respond Pence. to it. Pence has been a robot. There you go. Right but we'll figure it word, out. Robot. Not a big Mike Fence pan myself. I'll uh, throw some of my actual opinion. And then we got Bergram. We got Bergram. Bergram. I never even heard of this guy. Before. I don't know who that really. is. Really, just he's he's nobody. I mean, he's nobody. He's got more. He has more negative marks on my score pad than anybody here. With and you actually, so you actually score them. Yes, I have Walk a scoring Walk me through system. the Mojack scoring okay, system. Okay, my Mojack scoring system. You get a check mark, that's three points. Okay, a check mark means that's excellent. I like what you had to say. The policy's good. You're being honest. A plus sign, that's no, that you get two points for a plus sign. That means, okay, you're up there. But you didn't make the check mark. You On didn't. the next show, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna display this. Okay. We're gonna have your. You get a negative sign. That's one point. That means, come on, you can do better <laughs> than that. All right. Your policy's weak. You really didn't stand up for yourself. You get a down arrow. That's a zero. Okay. That's just an outright zero. Move on. Down arrow is worse than a negative sign. Yeah. Down arrow is worse than a negative okay. sign. Okay. That's below zero. Okay. A down arrow is below zero. Let's go fuck yourself. That's basically get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> go back to what the fuck you were doing. So who, you don't need to be there. Who was that? Um, oh, wait. I'm just, yeah, I'm throwing you off. Keep okay, going. Finish now, the system. I, okay, now what I, else is the, in the scoring? What else is in the scoring? Um, now, okay. Say, all right. We'll take, for example, Ramaswamy. Okay. Question number one. And I have the questions written down here, folks. I can go through the questions. Toot sweet. He really well. does, too. Um, number one, Richmond. Okay, here's that song. Richmond, north of Richmond. Oh, we should talk okay. about that, too. They asked, do you have any feelings? Do you, do you, what was the word they used? Do you relate with that song at all? Okay, that was that was the opening. They, that they was asked the opening this qu question. Wait, they asked that in the debate. That was the opening oh, question in okay. the debate. All right. Well, that confirms some, a suspicion. First of mine. thing DeSantis does, he goes to Bidenomics. Okay, I don't understand that at all. Battling with the CDC, a lockdown, open everything again. He wants everything open again. Christy, he goes on and rambles on about New Jersey. Well, as far as New Jersey, there, Christy. Okay, <laughs> um, Scott, he goes on about Bidenomics and all that kind of stuff. Now, when I scored that, when I scored question number one, DeSantis got a plus, plus a check mark. 
That means he went above average right there with that question. Haley, she got a down arrow. She didn't even touch the question at all, folks. She didn't even come close to the question. Same way with Scott, and I like both of those. I like both of those. Christy, he got it down with Swami. Ramaswamy, okay? He got a plus mark plus two check marks. He hit the nose on the head. He related to that song. He understood our struggle. He's what Trump was saying. Make America great again, folks. Where are we at? We are in a fucking hole. There's people out there that want to try and do better. Ron Swamy is just too... No, I'm sorry. He, he has no foreign policy experience. He has none of that. Trump had it. Trump dealt with, in business dealings, Trump was over there dealing with foreign dignitaries. He knew how to handle those people and stuff. Real, I, I don't want to. I don't want to throw you off here, but that song quickly because this is all over the internet. I, oh I, my! You like the song? I love the song. I heard it when um, I listened to Dan Bongino's podcast at the beginning of his podcast. The first day that song even hit the airwaves, and the media had a chance to even touch that song. He put it out. I heard that song. I cannot and wait overcome until you read the chat comments about what you're saying right now. Overcome about that song. Do they <laughs> I'm like not, me? I'm not Do looking they at like them. me or not? I'm just, I know, I, well, I'm assuming the audience hasn't changed much. Um, okay. But that song is, that song resonates with a lot of people. It hit me inside. Literally, that song touched no, me No, this is good. So uh, don't give Johnny Mojack too hard a time. Number one, I'm not entirely sure. Uh I'm 100% cynical on that song at this point. So that's number one, benefit of the doubt there. Uh, so what I'm getting at is I think there's a large group of people that think that song is targeted propaganda. Yes. Of uh, course, the left took uh, that right away. And there's some things with that Oliver Anthony guy that are a little bit like, um, why do you own a bunch of land? He worked for it. Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't I know. So I work for my land. I did, you know, this he is worked true. for it. This is true. Okay, I understand we don't have a full story on the man, okay, and I get all that. But I don't know, I tend to believe what What about a um what about the fake accent? The fake accent? He doesn't really talk like that. Did you know that? No. So there's just some kind of like mm, yeah. mm. I don't know. I mean, I he's had stuff on YouTube for a while. This yes. isn't his first YouTube. He has video. some other stuff up that's um Encouraging. See, it's now the you've right done stuff. Some homework I haven't done. Well, I'm a suspicious motherfucker, Johnny Mojack. And I'm a musician too, so that you are. Um, so that kind of Johnny Mojack, quite the drummer. We'll get to all that too. Um, but yeah, I like this uh, this debate scoring system. We're gonna have to. Maybe we should do like a live debate show. Although if Trump's well, we'll have an, we have another debate coming up. Show me that. Uh, hold up that picture there. You got there. Oh, are um, we ready? Yeah, I got just you. <laughs> there it is, it's folks. Getting, it's getting, uh, it's got the light right on it. Tilt it a little bit. There you go. It's the mug shot. You know what it is. It's the mug shot heard around the world, folks. This was, um, Mojack just showed up with this. I this did. Wasn't, I didn't say anything about this. No. Nope. just said. I took the picture. We and actually came in last week to do a test stream that failed miserably. And it sits right beside me with the American presidential flag beside it as well. Have to have those. We got to make, uh. If we can make some money at this again, it's all going right into the studio, third camera. We've got a big spot over here for an audience. We've got extra microphones. We have a number of people lined up uh, to yes. be on the show with us Yes. Uh, that I think you'll quite enjoy. Some of them, quick plug, are in this book. The Unconscious Pursuit of Epicurean Ataraxia by the Old Boys of Central Pennsylvania, Volume 1, written by John Ward. That was something I did in these two years. Um, yes, I do other things besides YouTubing, always have. Um, man, how do I start this brief introduction off? I have a job that involves interacting with a lot of people like Johnny Mojack, for example. Uh, and they're awesome. And uh, maybe six months ago, something yeah. like that, we started floating around, hey, let's, um, let's do this again. And uh, so they're common. Uh, of course, they all said, get your shit working uh, first. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I uh, wrote a book about some interactions. I believe I properly protected everybody's identity. There is a link to it in the description of this video. It's on Amazon. You can get it. Uh, it was also kind of just an exercise in creating some content again. So I started this up a little while ago. It's not very long. It's a quick read. I think you'll laugh. 
if you're so inclined, and there'll be more of them. Uh, the other book also linked into the description I want to talk about more later, but in these two years, I had some Moneyball clips from the movie Moneyball that I wanted to play. Have you seen Moneyball? Yes. You have? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, what is the problem? Right? Remember that scene? Yes. Uh, we're a broke-ass shit team, and uh, we're trying to, to do all this shit that isn't actually solving the problem because we don't understand what the problem is. So I spent the better part of two years. Uh, what is the problem? Uh, I'm interested in shit that actually works. Um, I was avoiding taking some actions uh, because I was maybe too exposed. Um, but things have been happening for two years uh, in pursuit of what is the problem, and then if we can figure that out, what do we do about it? How do we solve it? Johnny Mojack. I think I figured it out. Uh-oh. But I mean, in enlighten me, please. Ooh, we're gonna, this is going to be a complicated enlightening because there's a lot of steps. When I say I think hmm. I figured it out, I mean with a capital I. So we'll see. But first we got to get all this stupid... Is my microphone working? Why isn't the chat showing up on the screen? <laughs> Bullshit out of the way. Uh, and another We're thing I didn't there. really do in the five years I was YouTubing was create conflict with other content creators and other people. Mm. Um, some of whom I was very interested in destroying and they ended up destroying themselves. There was the old saying, never, get in, never, never kill a man who's in the middle of committing suicide. So Don Lemon, for example. He's gone. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. This is a me only. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Somebody edited in some fucking soundtrack shit to that. <laughs> um, the OBS has changed, so I have no background music. I also wanted to do a stream with no copyright shit. What are you doing? What? You can't do that here. Do what here? still free country, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Is it? Is it? We'll have commercial breaks. You just never know what's going to come out of the mouth. We'll have, um, we got some content coming with Gary. You know Gary. Oh, yeah, we have Garyisms coming. The ma Wait ma till you maintenance have. with Gary. Wait, yeah, maintenance with Gary. We have, I'm um, going to spend seven or eight hours getting this fucking microphone out right in front of the middle of my screen. But, you know. Let's take a, a little look at the chat here for a minute. Um, you can read that. Yeah, I can read it. Yep, yep. My old, old eyes can see that. I'll figure that out later. But uh, yes, we will it. take a quick look at the old chat skis. By the way, this is my first adventure into any of this. I have never even, I've wanted to. Um, you got. You haven't even used electricity before. No, what well, back where I live, <laughs> I mean, I got a couple of gerbils running in a cage, powering a little generator out back there. You know. Oh, that mean, was a, that was actually a pretty good understanding. I of mean, when I tell you I'm off the grid, I'm off the grid. I'm way back in the woods there. But what I do you? It. Um, it. It's great. I just said we were going to read the chat, and then we just started talking, and I got all into it. I was thinking about running around in the woods shooting things. Leave a Snickers for the beast. Oh, you got a lot of. Um, Oh, I love Snickers. I'm now a boomer, someone said. Yeah, I'm getting old. I actually don't age. If you can't tell, I've not aged since the last time you saw me. That'll be the case in 100 years as well. I'm just going to stay like this forever. Me too. What the hell? Why not? Enough it's money and advances in science. Let's just live forever. Oh, I could live to 200. Why be miserable for one lifetime when you can be miserable? <laughs> 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 I ain't done with this one yet. Let's see what the second one brings. Oh, right? anybody, throw out some comments. Yeah, okay, we're actually going to read them want? now. We, oh, um, okay, it is good. Okay. Yes, I've missed you all as well. James Dark, Jesus is Lord. Did you say you have gerbils in your back cave? Yeah, yes. yeah, I do. I even have a cave. Honestly, I people, I have a Mojack, cave. Jack, he's talking about gerbils in okay. your asshole. Oh, no. no That's no, what they're, no, that was no, the joke. No, no, no. Oh. I didn't read Do you it. have gerbils in your asshole? No, I don't have gerbils up my ass. <laughs> Jesus, people, please, come on. Um, yeah, welcome to the internet. I'm actually a widower, <laughs> so you're going to have to excuse me. I am a widower. I, I think the World a... Champions, by the way, is one of the most, um, they're a tough crowd if you don't know how to oh, roll, if you're not yeah, one okay. of them. I've got a tough skin, all right? I've you do. I've been a welder for 20-plus years. And you know how to do. Man, and I'm, trust me. I you know how to do everything. Skin. I don't know how to do everything, but except for except for YouTube. 
YouTube, yeah, like I said, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. He's going to teach me, folks, this is all going to come around. We're going to do some hunting videos, um, we're going to get out, and I'm going to throw some hunting videos in once in a while for you guys. I have a website, I'll be putting more stuff up on my website. How do you skin it, how do you skin a deer? With a knife? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, walk me through the steps. Drag it up to the skin and pull, start with its back leg, cut them open, hook it up. Pull it up a little bit, start what's cutting a, down the inside of the back legs. What's a skinning pole? A skinning pole is a skinning pole. It is a <laughs> piece of wood that goes across between two trees with a pulley and a Gabriel set up. You hook the deer to that and pull it up in the air. Get the deer started, you know, with the legs. Get the legs skinned down, grab that hide, pull it right off of it. What do you do with the hide? Leave them lay there for the coyotes. Do you? Yeah, we don't even bother with them anymore. You don't make uh, clothes out of them? I want to. I should try that sometime. Okay, folks, here, a little trivia. He likes this one, too. All right, let me hear it. Do you know every animal has just enough brain matter to tan its own skin? There, he loves that, folks. I told him, he'd like, no, nah, look it up, folks. Explain that. Explain what that means. Okay, what that means is, folks, even a human being has enough gray brain matter that when you would take <laughs> that mush out up with a little bit of water and make a paste out of that, you spread out a deer skin, you tack it down, you would take that that deer's brains, do all that to it, make a paste to it, rub it on there, it'll naturally tan that deer's hide. And that's how the Indians used to do it. That's how the caveman used to do it. That's how the prehistoric, that's how everybody's done it. The caveman with their yeah. gerbils? Up their ass. <laughs> <laughs> they were big gerbils back then, man. You had to watch. Cave gerbils. Cave gerbils. Prehistoric gerbils. Explains so much. Watch a video. I have not. This is, um, it's tough having it over there and keeping up with it a little bit. Why would I do what? Birdie, why would I do what? Why do I hunt? I hunt because it is, how do I put this? I'm a conservationist. If we didn't hunt and we didn't control the population of animals, animals would overpopulate. Then you would have disease and starvation running wild, which then would transfer over to humans. We don't want that. So we control the animal population through hunting. We have state laws. Every state, go fuck them. Every state <laughs> has their state laws about everything, and that's the way it is. It's been that way for millions of years, okay? I don't waste nothing. Everything goes back to nature. And what all do you hunt? I hunt squirrels, rabbits, doves, pheasant, deer, bear, coyotes, foxes. And the occasional cat once in a while, stray cat comes out. <laughs> <laughs> that's not no, true. honestly, that's not true, folks. You I like cats. cats. I have cats, so I would never shoot a cat. All right. But I, I eat everything I shoot. Everything goes home with me. I eat, I eat everything. That's, you know, my freezer's stocked full of deer meat right now. I just did 48 ears of corn. My girlfriend and I froze the 48 ears of corn. It's ready for winter, too. I stock up. Should we get back to political content? Let's get back to political. <laughs> I like political. What do we have next on the docket? We talk, okay, so we talk Trump or bust. Yep. We have your scoring system. Okay, there, folks, there, I got to ask. I have to ask, and I, wanna, I want an honest opinion from our chat folks that are on here now. I want to know what this is going to be. Do you or would you still support him even if, though, even if he were indicted? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right, that's what I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. Times 10. It is time for the man to get back in there and set the country straight. Uh, he's done too much, uh, even as a symbol. Oh, it's yeah. going to be an interesting. I'm tired of having the figurehead. I want somebody in there in power. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, I yeah. want somebody in power. I don't want a figurehead anymore. I want power. I want somebody who's got power, and he's got the man. He's got jumbo <laughs> coconut. We were talking right. about that. That his mugshot looks like he's got his nuts out on the table. I'm telling you, folks, when that man walked into a, a room to negotiate any kind of deal for this country, the first thing he did was unzip them pants and threw Big Dawn up on the table. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to talk or you're going to start sucking. And that's there's, all it was to there's it. Don, there's Don Jr. and there's Big Dawn. There's Big Dawn. <laughs> Big Dawn, buddy. He keeps him away, but when he goes in to negotiate, thump, out comes Big Dawn. <laughs> We were joking. We were out having a cigarette at work the other day saying that's how Trump uh, got into North Korea. Yeah. Yeah. He that's threw why, that big sucker they... out there. <laughs> and old Kim Joy, oh, yeah, yeah, you come right in, Trump. You step. I mean, when he stepped across that line, that took more balls than any man has had in that position to do that. But he showed him Big Dawn first and then he <laughs> <walked right through. laughs> 
That's was, that's why they shot that from the back. <laughs> yeah. that's, why no, that's why there's no shot of Trump from the front. There wasn't a wide angle enough lens. <laughs> Kim Jong Un's eyes are a little suspicious if you watch that clip. They are. They are truly suspicious when you watch it's that. It's the clip. widest eyes I've ever yep. seen on a Korean. He almost cracked a smile. You can see him almost crack a smile. I think it was fear. That's probably what it was. Everybody feared Big Don. What's the word for fear and love at the same time? <laughs> I have no idea. What was that? Is no. your, someone calling you? No, somebody must be trying to kill me. Go away. I'm busy. All right. Next thing was uh, Joe Biden. Well, Joe okay. Biden. So just to, just for my own memory, when I go back and watch all the shit we did wrong on this, uh, uh, we're going to talk more about the debates and the other candidates. Mm -hmm. But um, the key point is Trump or bust. It's kind of hit or miss right now. Yeah. yeah. But yes, it's Trump or bust, folks. It has to be. I mean, do we have a choice? Do you guys want to keep living like this? Do we want to keep worrying about, are the Chinese going to invade? Are um, the Chinese going to open up? Well, uh, so in this regard, on the other side of the table, Joe Biden. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm tired of having an idiot that can't even walk across the stage, let alone lead this country. He has... It's uh, just, in, the, in the spirit of the question of what is, where are we and what's going on, do you think Joe Biden's really in charge? No. No. Is he the front of a team yeah he's just he is a figurehead that's all he is, is a figurehead somebody to put out there to say this is our president and there is all kinds of connections between of course uh, the big one is hunter biden we'll be talking about him quite a bit yeah. down the yeah. road yeah uh hunter biden connects over to the u the ukraine you're not supposed to say the ukraine to ukraine which, of course, there's a lot of shenanigans going down. Vladdy Putin. Ooh. See. He said, hey, what's going on over there? I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go peek in there. What's, hey, Ukraine. What you guys doing? Yep. What's happening over there? Yep. That's a whole show. Oh, my. That's, yeah. So Joe Biden, maybe, I'm assuming, it's still him running. I haven't heard differently of you. That's what the news is right now. That's what the poll said this morning, and I actually saw this morning was... <laughs> Kamala, you can and believe this. Kamala Harris is, they do their best to pretend she doesn't oh, exist because she, she's. I mean, she just might as well put on the clown makeup and a clown suit and go out there because that's all she is, is a clown. Period. She is not. Uh, how she got into politics is beyond me. Do you know she was yeah, married? Yeah, it's not beyond me. It was she, sucking dicks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it had to be. I mean, God damn, she must be good. I mean, look where she's at right now. You know, she Joe I falls over and she's, she's in charge. Mojack, that might be the end of the, the live stream. The channel might be gone. Oh, no. Kamala. <laughs> she's Hannibal Lectoring. You know that... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of blowjobs you're getting, buddy. That's what she sounds like. She looks okay. like a pig doing that. You know, she's got that... She get, laughs at the same time as she's doing it. <laughs> I wish we hadn't have talked about any of that. I hate that. You brought it up. You brought it up. That's all good. That's the advantage, again, It's the internet. It, uh, the good internet. So who do you believe is running the show The good there. internet taketh away. I, um, I want to talk about all that, seriously. Like I said, I think I figured it out. But um, let's say this for now. I don't want to play all my cards at once. Because I only have one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, think there are more than one faction. There's more than one faction of good and bad guys. I've been really pretty good researcher, I like to think. Uh, hide that power level as much as I can. But uh, I think I have put most of it together. I actually think there's a... Someone can dig this up if they really wanted to. But there's something before I even started YouTubing where I caught a sniff of the Ukraine. And I don't think I ever made any video content about it. In a weird way, all the content that was the most important, I've, I've kept in my back pocket. Mm. Um, but for all the stuff uh, mm. the people watching mm. know and love, just making fun of shit and whatnot, we'll be doing some more of that too. It won't, won't all be live streams. This, this getting this mezzanine set up is, is opening some other doors. So anyway, uh, Joe Biden probably gonna run yeah he's gonna run we can talk about that uh a lot he's gonna run uh who is behind him what's going on with hunter body doubles 
body doubles. Hmm. Body doubles. A lot of body doubles out there. Oh, yeah. Never really talked about body doubles. Putin body doubles. Trump body doubles. Trump. Oh, yeah. Biden definitely. Doubles. I definitely. Definitely yeah. Biden yeah. body doubles. Yeah. Uh, pretty much in agreement, I think, that unless we hear differently, no one other than Biden. It's going to be Biden. Right now, that's it. The only one I've seen on the this ticket. Well, no, we have Kennedy. We do have Kennedy. Oh, that's right. We do have Kennedy. That fucking guy. Yeah, we have Kennedy. He can barely talk, but he can talk about oh, it. Oh, his voice. Oh, yeah, his voice is really bad. He also takes off his shirt quite a bit mm-hmm. for my liking. Yeah, he's quite the hero. He's a woman to man, I guess. But That's the only one that I know of is Kennedy. Other than that, I have not heard any other names come out. Interesting. Interesting. How do you feel about him? I've watched an interview with him. And he's your typical Democrat, okay? He has Democratic policies and everything like that. But at the same point, he don't want to send any more money to Ukraine. He don't want to, you know, have to deal with all that. Well, okay, let me, let's back up for a second. Mm-hmm. Lots of politicians say things, oh, especially when they're campaigning for an election. Always. Well, okay, maybe that's derailing it. You have to talk about what they're saying. It's all you really have to go on. But it, because he says something, does it have meaning? No. Do you think? I mean, I don't think it does. No. I'm not trying because to be Because all a, that, is, you know as well as I do, all that, he may say that, and he may want that, and, and you know, quote, unquote, end up as a president. He may take that, but is it going to get through the House? Is it going to get through the Senate? Well, that's another good point. Even if he's being genuine, which I you doubt, know, but even if he is, you know, he's got he knows he can't do it. You know, he knows he can't do it. And that was one of the big, big debating points was the, the abortion question was brought up to the candidates. And Haley, she's the one to come out right out and said, you'll never change anything because we can't get the votes in the Senate. She came right out and said it. Where's that? at? I have it in my notes, folks. But it came right out, and she said that, that she, you would never get the votes in the Senate to change anything with abortion. So she was being honest right there. I mean, that was, that was, that was as honest as you can get as a politician. Just in the comments, Gavin Newsom is another guy. I always forget about him, too, but he'll be around sooner or later. Governor of California. Yes, yeah. yes. You know he's going to put his words in Sooner there. or later. He is going to jump in there he sooner is, or later. Um, he's kind of like, I view him as the DeSantis and... I mean, yeah. so DeSantis pulled the trigger one cycle too early, quite obviously. Yeah. Uh, which yeah. is pointing to going back to factions. There's Whether there's factions on the left uh, is one question. There certainly are factions on the right, Trump being a giant faction and everybody else being at least one, if not multiple other factions. So DeSantis, uh, i got to believe, is smart enough to know that he should have waited one more cycle. Uh, yeah, but he's uh, still going to go through the process. But he's doing it anyway, which means yeah. there's people behind yeah. DeSantis mm-hmm. that want to get rid of Trump. And he has the money behind him to help that. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. it's important to think about not just there's money behind him, but it's time to start asking the questions of who are these people and why do they want DeSantis. These aren't new ideas I'm having, by the way. Lots of other people talk oh, about yeah. this, you know. Absolutely. And so on. And especially if you talk to people from Florida and talk about what he's done as a But why DeSantis pulling the trigger now is another version of what is the problem. Moneyball, right? What's going on? It's important to start talking about this stuff. No one else has. There have been, I'm going to throw, uh, not that I have a ton of weight, but maybe I'll build some back up. But there are guys out that have been making content these past two years that have not stopped. Most of them I fucking hate, but there's a few of them that are that are good. I'm going to see if I can rope them into the show somehow. You guys probably have it. I'm not going to say any names, but you probably watch them. Um, and actually, Frank, we're going to get up to Frank. You want to go up to New York, Mojack? Yeah, we're absolutely. Gonna, we're going to head yeah, up there. Absolutely. We're going to hunt them. We're going to hunt Frank. But that... That question, what's wrong and how did we get here, that is so loaded. Well, right. And so why is DeSantis running? Right? What's going on? with this? We were going to transition here. And, and see, I think everybody's trying to derail Trump. Well, I mean, there's the, yes, right. So I'm not trying to be retarded. There's and I don't think there's any other. Any some other pretty reason. obvious reasons why some stuff is happening. And a huge one is not Trump. Mm-hmm. It's the opposite of what anybody but Trump is how most people feel. Well, most people I feel do. that way because... The vibe is anybody but Trump. Yep. <laughs> so, um, 
but yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, I, I had hit a point where I felt like my content was not really moving the ball forward anymore. I was just, um, well, I was, uh, for a little bit, I was just making money by entertaining people, which was never really the goal, but then I was entertaining people and not making any money. <laughs> it was kind of like, well, that's not a recipe for continued success. Uh, and then it occurred to me that, that I never really, going back to this Ukraine thing I noticed before I started YouTubing. Okay, so I did notice that, and, and with Trump in, in, in his first run and all that, that was enough to snap me out of the grind and start start doing YouTube in the first place. But, but okay, so there is, there's a movie I love. I'm going to explain this parabolically uh, called Primer, which I've talked about. Probably everybody that watches my channel knows about that movie. But uh, at the very beginning, these, these two guys basically invent a time machine. But there's a, there's a quote in the movie of, the easiest way to be exploited is to publish something you do not yet understand. But you can't make content without publishing stuff you don't yet understand. That was round one of the YouTube. I, I, I mean, I had a feel. And in watching uh, the, the people I was competing with making content, I think at least as good a feel, if not better than most people out there. But uh, nobody uh, got the fundamentals. Am I making any sense? Probably not. There's like two conversations going on in my head right now. I'm trying to like explain one of them. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm recommending in, in the comments this book, The Origin of Consciousness and the Breakdown of the Bicameral Mind. So that's a big piece of the puzzle. I would recommend reading that. That's my serious face. Um, yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing in this story between stories. This little double entendre <laughs> up on the mezzanine. Um, and you're a really smart guy, just uh -oh. despite uh -oh. the way you uh -oh. present yourself sometimes, uh -oh. which I find fucking hilarious. <laughs> this is going to be great. This is going to be really good. Uh, you were a big missing piece, too, and some of these other guys are a big missing piece. Okay, so anyway. Uh, maybe some other candidates for Democrat and whatnot, but that all was tying into rumors swirling mm -hmm. of COVID coming back, of oh, lockdowns yeah. coming back. Yeah. Which is another part of this. What the okay. fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. A little more obvious the it's, second time around. It's here we go with the control again. Here we go with the mask mandates. Here we go with get your shot. All of that. I'm sorry. It's why is it happening? We have an election coming up. We I think so. We have to do it because of the election coming up. I mean, come on. That's the only reason that I can see COVID. COVID's been quiet. For how long now? COVID has been dead quiet. Now, all of a sudden, we have an election cycle starting again. Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. And the next thing you know, we're getting locked down. We're getting mandated <laughs> and all that bullshit again. What is, I so will not comply. I will not. I didn't comply the first time. I did it the first, at the first part of it. And I had to. My late wife had, was battling cancer through it all. So I had to. I didn't get vaccinated, folks. I did not take the jab. I got COVID. I got the COVID naturally. But it goes against everything that this country was founded on as far as freedoms go. As far as freedoms go. Amen. And Somewhere if we out let there. them And if we let them do this again, like they did the first time around, it'll be even worse, folks. It's going to be even worse. We're going to lose more freedoms and privileges that we have now if they let us, if we let them lock us down again and mandate this shit again. That's all I, I mean, that's how I see it. Sooner or later, good folks like you and I and thousands of other ones out there are going to say enough's enough. They thought January 6th was an insurrection. January 6th was not an insurrection. Yeah, that's January 6th was unbelievable just a, bullshit going on yes, with that. Yes, that was a political statement by the Republican Party. They think that was bad. By the way, it's real coming. quick. It's coming. I was not arrested on January 6th. I wasn't uh, either. I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not knocking any of those people that were. But, but and, if it, and the only reason, and the only reason I'm probably even sitting here, folks, is because my late wife was sick and begged me not to go down there. I was prepared. I was completely prepared 
to go to to it. I was there. I was. I think there. a lot of us were. No, I was literally ready no, to go out the door. I, I think, a, I think I a lot of us were. And the only reason I didn't was because my late wife begged me. Smells to stay like a trap. Boy. Yeah. Hindsight 2020. Smells I've got like a trap. My eyes are wide open to what the fuck went on down there that day. I was having so there's of part. Bird. There's part of our problem, John. Don't point your. Don't don't That's you point your part finger. Of our don't problem, you do that, John. Right there. You see that? Don't you? COVID. Do you see it? Does everybody see it? What the problem is is the government's getting I don't too see it. big. I don't to, see it because it's they want control. It's they so small control. it fits right through my mask holes. So I can't see it. Oh, better get that KN95. Air it out for a half hour before you put that sucker yeah, on. Yeah, so you don't die from your fucking mask. So, but you want it, yeah, when we say what is the problem, just look around, folks. We can name 10,000 things. How do we fix it? We have to fix it by uniting together. There's rich together. teams and poor teams and 50 feet of crap, and then there is us. What was that? That was my cigarettes. Oh. But I really think the only way to solve any kind of problems is to unite, come together, stick to our values, stick to our cause. For sure. You know? But you're also not, like other people have said that before, and it just doesn't seem to happen. So leadership, I don't think it, it. I don't think anything's come to that point yet. And I think it's coming to that point now where... Let me, uh, let me ask you this, that. with all this election and COVID and Trump, should we have taken action by now? Have we waited too long? For the COVID? To, oh, to, to stand up? Stand, to, stand, up. To stand yeah, up, stand up. I believe so. You think we waited too long? Yeah, I think we waited too long. I don't know if I agree. And fully I'm not with talking you. by force, people. I'm not going to condone violence. No, in right. Any way, yeah, I didn't mean any of that. I don't want anybody to even uh, go yeah. down that road. I'm talking Good about catch. voting. I'm talking about the power of putting your word out there, of protesting if you have to. Go to a rally. Go to a Trump rally. If they have a Trump rally, go to a Trump rally. Show your support. You have been cause. really good about that stuff. Yeah, it's uh, as Arlie Ermy said in Full Metal Jacket, uh, we're nothing but disorganized, grabastic <laughs> pieces of shit. shit. Amphibious, you know that quote. Amphibious oh, shit. You know it better than me. It's another reason I like we hanging out pe with you. people. We are what Private Powell said in a world of shit right now. Period. I think, honestly, I didn't mean to, to bring that movie as metaphor into this conversation, but, you know, he ends up killing himself. Oh, like, yeah. He kills his drill yeah. instructor, and yeah. then he kills himself. And that's what's happening to this country right now. Well, we that's like a, a metaphor for, you know, here's the gun. You're going to shoot your head. You're going to shoot your drill instructor. You're going to shoot both. You're going to just quit, which I don't think metaphorically you can. There is no more quitting. Mm -mm. We're in a weird, I was thinking about this, I've been thinking about this a lot over the past few years, but there was, for all of, well, human history, we'll talk about that too, but for, for all in, intents and purposes right now, for all of human history, we'll say that, term, that, that phrase, for all of human history, there's always been somewhere to go, right? You could leave, you know, England or Europe and go to the New World. You could, you could leave and go to an island, you could leave... That's really not the case anymore for the first time ever. There is nowhere to run to. You can't just avoid the problem, and even if you could for another generation or two or three, huh. it's going to find you. Mm -hmm. It's what, it's what um, politically incorrect on 4chan would call globo homo, right? Homo, not gay, but homogenization. Global homogenization. Global ho globo homo. Globo homo. Yes. Globo homo. Uh, that is maybe, uh, you might have heard the term, the term, the uniparty. It's all yes. one party. Yes. Globo yes. homo, yes. same thing. Language is huge. We're going to really be upping our language intelligence, all of us. We have to. Because uh, part of the problem in, in, in not being able to perceive what is the problem is lacking the language to describe what the problem is. So. Or understanding what's being told to you or you're reading. And that kind of stuff, you know, people do need to get to do their homework. And there, there's another problem, education. Although I don't think, see, uh, one of the things derailing the right has been this. Um, and why? Well, why? there's been this impulse, or at least I think people, I think we're more logical and scientific. And so there's this, this you feel like you need to know lots of facts and, and stuff like that. But here's. Number one, that shit ain't, isn't going to convince anybody in an argument. And if you're arguing with a leftist, they're not even interested in being convinced. They're just going to spout out their own facts and logic. So while that stuff is important, 
Um, I don't know that the problem is facts and knowledge. I think it's more spiritual than that and more abstract <laughs> than that. That can certainly help, but it almost helps more with people that kind of already agree with you or, or are already leaning that way, and then, and then the facts can sort of be the missing piece. But let's say you're talking to a rabid leftist that facts and logic get you nothing. You get nowhere. Do you want to get anywhere with them? That's another good question. <laughs> like I've this uh, this kindergarten idea of everybody singing Kumbaya under a rainbow. Yeah. Maybe we just throw that out the window at this point. We're adults now, you know. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. No. Nope. No, nope. it comes down to Well, like you were saying violence, not not what no. we're talking about no. either. No. No. It's an interesting time though. Well, it is. It's a very interesting time. And if things don't go according to some people's plans, to some people's hopes in this next election, things might get a lot worse. Things might get a lot worse, depending on how it all goes down. And, you know, I mean, look at the last election. You know, it was, there was some shady shit went on in that last, last election period. We will and talk I about think that. The, I think America as a whole is in tune with that possibly happening happening again in this next election. Be it Democrat or Republican. Because if the Democrats lose, they're going to say the Rep Republicans cheated. Yeah. Russia was involved. Remember Russia, Russia, Russia? Then the same thing. If Democrats win, Republicans lose, it's going to be they cheated in this way, they cheated in that way. And I don't think we're ever going to get another fair, fair election in this country. Even more than that is, would anyone believe it even if it was? Yeah. Like, I that's, think that shit might have yeah. sailed. Yeah. That's possible. why you don't do this shit. Uh, and is crashing and burning the United States trust in America by Americans? Is that part of the plan? Maybe that's part of the plan. Maybe the left's job or the unit party's job is to crash it. I mean, we are the biggest experiment in self-government in the world. And right now, it's failing. That experiment is failing big time. And I, you know, I mean, look around at it. I have kids. I have grown kids. I have grandkids. And I don't want to leave them with this mess we have now. I mean, we need to. That is a good point. We need to change things now because changing things now changes things 10, 20 years down the road. Right. What kind of person are you or what kind of people are we? Exactly. If we notice this and do exactly nothing about it. Exactly. Do we want them to be in a totalitarian state where they have to share their papers to go across the state line to another state? Or do we want it the way it is now where you can come and go as you want? Well, you then you have, you know, then you have the southern and in the near future northern borders are going to be problems. Boy, the southern border is already a problem. I mean, who So these are these balls. sort of paradoxes that are getting at what I've been thinking about, which is that the one you have you have a national border but no internal barriers, which yes. is sort of a paradox. Um, you are uh, I I putting together some sort of system that works for everybody and yet everybody doesn't belong in that system. Where do you start? Um, and so I think uh, a little bit of, of revelation on that. Uh, you ain't going to take over the world before you take over yourself. <laughs> Got to start at home. Starts at home. Yep, I start at home. Conquer yourself. You build. You add one person who's conquered themselves. You build. You add another person. You build. Can you do this if we're spread out all over the country or the world? Do we need to physically move Where to we the same get? place? your house okay <laughs> where is that place we go to how do we get there money money is a problem oh boy how many people does it take what can they do can they weld can they do all the shit you can do let's hope <laughs> let's hope because we're losing that in this world too we're losing blue collar you know workers, and then you inevitably trade. that group of people has a second generation which won't be perfect one of them won't be you know able to contribute or they might be disabled or something what do you do with that person do you kick them out are you then inviting 
the same cycle of problems all over again if you don't kick them out. The Amish are super interesting to think about. Oh this my. is kind of what I'm thinking oh about. My. And you know a lot about them too. Yes, I do know a lot about the Amish. And yes, they have they have quite a life. I mean, it's they a bit do. more going on there than a lot of people realize. They do. Yeah, there's a lot more going on there than what people. They just see the horse and buggies going down the road, and they see their produce stands, and they see the cute kids and all that. But behind that, there's an entire society that is well structured and well disciplined. Mm -hmm. and I mean, well disciplined. Very disciplined. More so than any English, and than any English. Which I should explain Society. to the Amish. There's Amish, and then there's English. Yes. And as far as they yes. are concerned, we yes. are English. We are English. We are English. We are not Amish. We are English. And there is a definite, I mean, sure, they don't have power, but I'm t when you look at their society and their government and the way things are run out of the church, did you hear that? Out of the church, mm -hmm. not out of a government building with government heads, these are people out of the church that run their governments, their banks, those kind of things. are all stay within that society. Look how well that society manages. Year-round, generation after generation after generation, they thrive better and healthier and cleaner living than any English, any English in the world. It's not all positive, though. No, it's not all positive. There, there is some, some sacrifices that get made in the, order for that to work. And there is some dark, dark things to the Amish, too, as well as how they treat women, how they treat animals. There are some dark, dark things to the Amish, along with a lot of bright things to the Amish. I, you know, I've been around them a lot. I've learned a lot in the past probably 10 years of being around the Amish and stuff. I've learned a lot about them and... It's opened my eyes. They're on to something. And let me tell you something, people. They pay taxes, just same as everybody else has to pay taxes in this state or wherever they live at. They have to pay their taxes, and they don't like the government. They vote for Trump. Yes, they vote. They can go vote. They're allowed to vote just like anybody can go vote. And they, they were Trump supporters. Yeah, I think they had a, they had a lot to do with uh, Trump getting elected. Yeah, especially in rural counties, you know, in the rural counties of any state <coughs> that they're Excuse in. Me. They helped bring that rural county vote count up and try and, and, and offset the big cities. Especially, you know, where we're at. You know, we have four major areas that take over this state. And all the little rural areas like us get pissed on. Because our vote, even though we've all voted and we had a good turnout and everything, we've been outvoted by the bigger cities. Yep. And, you know, I, I don't like it, but that's the way it is. We can't change that. Or can we change that? Mm. How can we change that? Mm. No autism amongst the Amish, they say. No, there's no autism among the... Uh, there's no... Um, ADHD, there's none of that through the Amish. You do have once in a while an occasional Down syndrome child, but they treat that child just as well as they treat the rest of their kids, completely. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and disabilities, let me tell you right now, I know an Amish man who's only got one good working arm, and he could outwork any one of you people out there with one arm. Not a problem. There, I've seen hundreds of them running around with one limb because they lose it. And they're just, they make the other one stronger. And they just keep going and they do it. They made that sacrifice and they move on. That's all there is to it. Interesting times. Lots of examples to pull from the real world. Lots of shenanigans. Oh, shenanigans. Lots of bullshit. <laughs> We've hit about an hour. I'm tempted to wrap it up. We'll come back. We'll look at this tonight. We'll see yes. everything we messed up. I got some research to do on these new fantastical futuristic equipment type things but um this was good it's good to be back thank you for having me yeah it's good to have um, you it's thank you everybody for having me any good kind words i appreciate it um first time one first time ever so just give you've me a break. done uh well you jumped right into it no problem you're a you're a fucking awesome dude i like having you around thanks man you too we're gonna do some hunting and shit we, we, make, we make a good team with this bullshit man let's go we kill some shit Let's do it, man. Hell, I'm going to leave here and probably go hunt dove here later on. Let's do on. it right now. Let's just go kill shit. 
I got a gun with me. I always have a gun with me. <laughs> I do too. I do too. I do too. It was good. Uh, not, not. I wasn't try, trying to be evasive or anything like that. I just didn't want to get too, too detailed about what's been going on. If, if, like, you know, the fucking camera crapped out or the stream went out or, or blah blah. You, not, we might not even be live. You might not have seen any of this. It seems like you have because of the comments. But, and I want to get Johnny Mojack in here and show him how this all looks and works and whatnot. Uh, uh, before he disappeared back into the wilderness, I said, "We're going to be doing this. I promise." Yes. And now we're doing it. Yes. So we'll have more content. We're gonna. We got. There's just. There's a million things we can talk about with. Lots everybody. more to do. We have a plan. Yes. yes we. Yeah. We do. Uh, one of the cool things, 2023. It's like you wouldn't really normally see. Um. You know, Joe Rogan doing a test stream like this, or fucking on TV or shit. Hey, it's one of the things I've always liked we're about. Fucking YouTube. badass compared to Joe Rogan. I like it. Uh, right? we're not trying to be famous. No, uh, no. we're we're not trying to be no. uh characters. Uh, although we have to be to some degree because we're not stupid, but. Lots of things <laughs> I've been thinking about. Lots of things you and I have talked about for months before months, doing yes, this. Yes. Um, yeah, well, this just wasn't a week. You know, we didn't put this all together a week ago. We have been talking and conversing back and forth, bouncing ideas for the past couple months to get this up and what we wanted to do, what we want to talk about, and just bring you the best that we can. Sure. Uh, to only <laughs> our best. Boy, I hit that. Only one. my best. Whoa. You gotta, you got to have some awa awareness of your surroundings I there. Know, I need to move it down. Uh, where is all the old content? Uh, it has been set to private temporarily. Um, please understand that there's a lot of shit I have to juggle for this to, number one, stay live, which we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, or if the channel gets shut down, maybe we'll boot low back audio. up. Huh? Low audio. Audio is low. Carol, if that's you, sorry, honey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, we can adjust the audio and all that. Um, comments, comments. I'll go read through all those. We are. I have been in yeah. touch with Frank. Uh, quite frankly, up in New York. Oh, okay. On okay. and off. Uh, we'll, you and I will get up there. Um, yeah. I know a lot of people quit bugging Frank about me. By the way, uh, he's been as as in the dark as pretty much everyone else for the most part. Uh, great dude, though. So some thoughts there. I'm looking forward to meeting this guy. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. He's a good. We'll get him down here now that we kind of have a studio. Oh yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, this book, The Unconscious Pursuit of Epicurean Ataraxia. Hold on, I should have done this. There we go. So this was part of it. This was writing. This was about bringing it back local and things like that. This is just four very short chapters about four real plumbers, uh, all of whom I believe I'm going to get on the show here. And I think you'll enjoy, and I think that will tie more into... Uh, what it is we think we figured out and what we're going to do. Uh, and then the other book also in the comments, uh, this is Give Yourself Months to Read This, but The Origin of Consciousness and the Breakdown of the Bicameral Mind. That's going to make a lot more of this make sense as we start talking. We have the election coming up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We have COVID restrictions oh coming boy. back, maybe. Oh, man. Maybe. Oh, man. I'm, I'll be livid. I'll just be busting with content. We'll be hunting out in the woods. Yes. Yep. We're going to get your, uh, you have kind of your own home base for the stuff you're going to be doing. You, Johnny Mojack's going to be doing some of his own hunting content. We really want to do not just entirely political. So we're thinking like one show a week, um, more political, humorous, entertaining, keeping track of what's going on probably every Sunday. Yep. Looks like. Uh, and then we'll let that up throughout the week. Uh, and then I, on my own, will probably be creating some kind of more of the content you guys used to like. Um, if I think, well, yes. And then you are going to be creating some content. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we've been figuring out how do we film and record video and sound out in the boonies. Yep. Got some nice cameras. Uh, I should be on a nice camera also, but I'm not. I'm on the laptop camera. We'll get that figured out. We'll get some fun shit in the background. I think I'm just inventing shit to say at this point, kind of dragging it out. Hat looks cool. Thank you. I might sell some of these hats. Yeah, yeah. If you guys want hats, we'll probably have hats up Hat sale. shirts. I got to get that yep. all up to speed. The website's going to be redone. I'm going to be creating some written content. Call for submissions. I want to get everybody involved again. Anybody who was involved before, you know who you are. Shoot me an email. 
I have a website. Uh, go to Johnny. Yeah, Christ can't even talk now, can I? What a promo. I'm telling you. Johnny slash mojack.org is my website, and you can send me an email. Shoot me a note we'll or get, something. I'll put all this stuff in the in the comments yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, he'll do that. Johnny Mojack at Gmail, right? Johnny Mojack at Gmail. Shoot me a message. Let me know how I did. Quite an accomplished guy. You do tons of stuff. You've had a long life. From a, we didn't even really get into any of that like I thought we would. Uh, maybe next show we'll do a little From background. Navy little bio. to welding to hunting to yeah. all kinds of fun stuff. But to your Trump rally. Oh my, yeah. That was a great gotta, story. Yeah, we never even talked about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get on it. Like I said, Johnny Mojack is somebody. I am. You're an important person. Just haven't been found yet. I don't kind of like it that way. We're going to keep it a little. Yes. Keep me back in the boonies. Well, that is about it for today. Unless you have any last second final thoughts. Just remember one thing, folks. If you know what you're doing, you're fine. That's such a good <laughs> Just remember that. If you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, you're fine. You're fine. Other than that, thank you, everybody. Thank you, John. Thank you, yes. That is it for today. And until next time, remember, you're a world champion. <laughs>